This will be my most difficult business class flight surprise to pull off ever. Suspecting nothing, mine and Oscar's Singaporean best friend thinks she's flying alone to go on vacation today. Little does she know, we've been secretly coordinating with her fiancé to surprise her a check-in with an adventure in the world's best business class. Will we be able to pull it off? So the stress is trying to figure out where she's going to be. And, and how time. Gonna, yeah. Luckily, her boyfriend Iggy is helping us behind the scenes. Her fiance. Her fiance, actually. future husband. Yes. Uh, so we're coordinating with him. It doesn't help that the flight is delayed because it's changing the timing. Here's the plan. April Lynn is arriving from the city by MRT at Terminal 3. From there, she has to make her way to Terminal 1, a journey which adds uncertainty to where and how we will manage to find her. Just ahead of her, we are also heading from Terminal 3, where our hotel is located, to Terminal 1, hoping we'll make it before she does, giving us time to find a good lookout and hiding place. Somehow we're like delayed or behind uh, the time because of this. <laughs> Although the flight was delayed. The crazy thing is, the world's best airline can extend the opening hours of their check-in. So even though the flight is three hours delayed, we still have to check in at the original time. The aircraft isn't landing in Singapore for another three hours. So that's just a bit crazy, which means we're gonna have a lot of time once we run into her, but we don't have so much time in the morning. So we need to rush from terminal three, where this hotel is, all the way to terminal one to try to find her. Last year, Oscar and I made a super fun video surprising two of our friends with Q Suite from actually from Sweden all the way to Korea. You can check that video out in the card now, I think on this side. So now it's sort of a one year later doing this with another friend. And uh, I just know that all our remaining close friends are gonna be like, WTF, what about us? I'm always so nervous ahead of surprising My heart is someone. beating so fast right now. <sighs> the stress is real because we really wanted to be there before her. I feel like it's impossible or so hard to surprise people nowadays. The thing is she knows she's flying Qatar because I had to send the flight details. But she hasn't asked for the ticket. No, so we're like, <laughs> it's kind of unlike anyone to not ask for the ticket. But what you're gonna do, we're doing our best to make this, you know, a surprise in some way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here's the check-in. We're trying to decide where exactly should we stand. Yeah, I don't know. What do we do? How do we surprise her? Just like stand down one of these walls. Just like... No, because she's gonna come from the train to the city. Okay, we've decided to hide behind all the check-in desks, like on the other side, so we can sort of see when she arrives. Coordinating with the fiance. <laughs> Look at us, we're... We're hiding behind this wall. Because there's like nowhere in the entire terminal we could be without being at least a little bit exposed. So this is where it's at. This is so funny, a new level of extreme. I know, right? I'm like, I hope this floor is clean. <laughs> otherwise, you're not worth it, April. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've never surprised anyone by not actually being with them. Like surprising them by just popping up out of nowhere. So this is a bit more nerve wracking because we have to time it right. We also don't really know where she's coming from. We're not entirely yeah. sure if it's going to be from there or there or there. I'm hiding behind this check-in sign so I can see out the side and I can see the check-in. <laughs> Hey, why are you so late to the airport, man? Trying to miss your flight? <laughs> Trying to miss your flight? Miss the woman was too stunned to speak. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so you weren't suspicious? No. I thought he was taxi, he's candidate. <laughs> so now we can enjoy the delay together. <laughs> what? We're flying together, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then I look like shit at it. I know. We were thinking, should we warn her? We thinking, should we warn her? But we couldn't give it away. I look Do you like have an something. outfit change? Maybe no. you buy a new outfit in Jewel. <laughs> I look like some random <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> All right, so since our flight is delayed, we have a lot of time to spend here at Jewel, and April Lynn is treating us to a massage. <laughs> We're talking about April Lynn is like the ultimate budget traveler. If you were searching flights, which one would you choose? Cheapest. Always <laughs> cheapest. Yeah. It doesn't matter the airline. Uh, but you like Scoop and stuff. Yeah. Scoop? 
Air Asia. Yep. The excitement is building, at least for me and Oscar. You see, April Lynn doesn't just come from Singapore. She is Singapore, which is ranked the least emotional country in the world. Normally, when you watch a surprise video on YouTube, you expect gasps, cries. But what we find so hilarious about April Lynn is her ability to be utterly unfazed by anything. So the question is, will this flight manage to impress her? Okay, it's a bit of a hurry now because they wouldn't let us through since it's technically after departure time, although the flight is delayed. So April Lynn just says it's very Singaporean. Right? Yeah, we're very law-abiding citizens. <laughs> yeah, so now we're going heading straight to the flight and about to hop on board. Yes, Oscar's explain. explaining how you can tell. Yeah, that it's, I uh, should definitely be the one to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I know my A350s, so okay? April then went, oh, it's so big. Is this normal? No. <laughs> yeah, size? that's a 77, so similar size, yeah. Oh. So Scoop also got big. You've never flown business class, right? And then, like nothing. premium economy, nothing. No. Extra like room economy. <laughs> <laughs> no, extra like room on budget. Oh, oh, budget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have like any idea what to expect? She's so, seen it. Oh, you've seen it? I bought fast. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I remember she said, oh, that looked quite nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Actually, we can board through the second door. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Surprise, we're actually flying economy! <laughs> <laughs> the surprise is opposite. She just knew all this business. And now it's flying in the cargo hold. <laughs> this one? Oh, oh. <laughs> I was like, oh. So now we're making it fun. Then we get now, this down. Now we'll make it so Oscar can see. <laughs> Yeah. See, now you can see me and Oscar. This should be your like podcast, sitting like this. Whose podcast? You guys. Oh, oh okay. I think the reason is So why are you so irritated? Because uh, <laughs> you did <imitate> anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell we're flying backwards. Oh, I think we'll yeah, have, yeah. Hopefully you get motion sets. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, hopefully <laughs> not. You've ever heard of this brand? Oh, <laughs> spray. Spray? Is it spray? Does it have spray? <laughs> spray, natural spray. For neck. For neck? You need toilet. Oh, the toilet. <laughs> Lip balm. Yeah. Uh, face cream. And some nice socks underneath. Oh, socks. Oh. <laughs> you have to use your refreshing towel. Oh. You don't get this in scoop. Yeah, very, very Middle Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Do you like it? Or too sour? No, it's, it's okay. <laughs> if you stand up, you'll see that the economy is not very full. <laughs> oh. It's like no one there. Do you want one? Like, Do you want why, why are they so special? No, it's just that you can bring it home. It's like a, the pillow is a gift. So you get me your gift? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So right now it's some expo in Doha. They have special red juice. It smells very healthy. So this is a special pre-departure drink. No, it's good. Oscar looks so skeptical. Tastes a bit like earth. Good, because you need to come down to earth. <laughs> okay, so off we go. We are taxiing. Maybe you want to read the menu. Artisan bread. Artisan bread. I can speak English. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Why are you trying to pronounce all these? Cream. Also. No, okay. You pronounce this one. French camembert. <laughs> you see, you also know how to. French blue. There's only an Indian option. There's no East Asian, Southeast Asian. Where's the Chinese? Where's the Thai? Yeah. No. Maria, you wish there was new soup. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm very adaptable. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like more stocks. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> now it's on the record. She's teasing me for wanting to watch this. So what do you want to watch? I don't know. I want to see what's there. The Little Mermaid. Transformer. I also 
Avatar I haven't seen. Oh, Did yeah. you see it? Outside, but oh, maybe we watch it together. Yeah, yeah. Same time? Right. Just as we start taxiing, I realize, oh my god, April Lynn is gonna be so mad when we land in Doha. She tries to call her fiance and it doesn't work. And I go, yeah, you need a VPN for it to work. And she goes, what do you mean? I don't have a VPN. And I go, well, it's too late to download one now because they're blocked. Basically, when traveling through the Middle East, many things are blocked, such as FaceTime, WhatsApp calls, Messenger calls, Skype, all types of things like that. And you can't access a VPN to download it once you're there either. Luckily, all those services can be easily and quickly unlocked using a VPN preferably a fast one so it doesn't slow down your connection, which is why for many years now, I've been telling you guys about today's video sponsor, NordVPN, the fastest VPN in the world. NordVPN also hides all your internet browsing from the local Wi-Fi network or telephone provider, which, you know, is handy whether or not you're traveling if you want to protect your privacy. And of course, many people love VPN for unlocking shows. For example, on Netflix, when you're traveling, the shows you watch at home might not be available. HBO Max is not available in so many countries, but with a simple click of a button, you can unlock it. If you click the link at the top of the description or go to nordvpn.com slash nonstopdan, you can get one of their best deals ever, including four months free on a two-year plan. So why not try it out, whether you're trying to unlock content from at home or simplify an upcoming trip. With their 30-day money-back guarantee, there is nothing to lose. How does it feel? <laughs> Very flat, right? <laughs> See, now you can go anywhere in the world. So easy, right? If I just fly to the US like that. You didn't think it went completely flat? Or? Yeah. So no. every video I've made, you've been skeptical that it's actually. <laughs> I don't really. <laughs> it feels the same. <laughs> they didn't have any fancy stuff. I mean, like lotion and all, and the toilet was the same. <laughs> what did you expect? I don't know, maybe a, a bidet? So not not a bidet. bidet. Uh, maybe like a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Here is my <laughs> the super mini sushi. <laughs> this is the whole meal. I, hope I know. Yeah, this is the whole meal. We're counting calories now. No, you're not. <laughs> Very fancy. <laughs> is that enough bread for you? <laughs> oh, you like it? It's okay, la. Yeah. It's nice that there's a flower. Looks like no. <laughs> <laughs> Such a big portion. <laughs> <laughs> Someone thought it was what? Too bland? No, too milky. So you make it pepper soup, then you don't taste the milk. <laughs> Hello. 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 So April Lynn doesn't like to waste food, which is a bit of a challenge here. <laughs> Every portion is enormous. Yeah. There's so much bread in this <laughs> She was full after like the soup. Yeah. <laughs> April Lynn gets really anxious when she has to waste food. She also eats very, very little. This is an interesting thing I never thought about before, how we always finish our food, so it's not a problem for us. But someone like April Lynn, who has a very low appetite, and then hates wasting food, it actually takes away from the experience because everything you're eating, you feel like you're just wasting. So our food is this nice looking tofu. Yeah, braised, sorry. <laughs> braised bean cut. <laughs> what is this? Tau kwa. Tau kwa. Yeah. That's Hokkien, braised, Hokkien. braised tofu. No, it just means uh, the hot kind of uh, tofu. Hard. Like firm tofu. Firm tofu, yes. Uh, it's called yeah. tau kwa. Tau kwa? Tau kwa. Okay, and dessert. Pretty nice. 
so impressive. Was Amazing. It good? Did you try? No, okay, so let me try. <laughs> let me try. <laughs> Oscar, do you not like lemon? You know what, I used to hate lemon curd when I was younger, but this is so good. Really? It's almost like a, like a cheesy layer on top. Mm. Dessert. So you pour... Yeah, you choose how much. But it's very sweet, want, is it? That's way too little. <laughs> I mean, it's just berries. Yeah. But that's why the syrup makes it good. Oh yeah, you can try a bit. <laughs> Why so much suspect? It's nice together, no? Actually, it tastes very sweet. The syrup? No. Yeah. Oh, going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar's got his own little window seat here. Yeah. Why? Because she's making her bed or what? Uh, no, just because I went to the bathroom and then I came back and I couldn't get in my seat very easily. So uh, <laughs> that's when you are looking at your sofas right next to you. <laughs> I think they think that you were Mr. and Mrs. Chuck. Ch <laughs> <laughs> this is what? Canceling. Yeah, really noise cancelling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy a hot towel. Okay, we've got a bit of a snack section. It's two what? Atas. Atas? <laughs> two Atas snacks. <laughs> so, how's the little mermaid? Great. Five minutes of little mermaid. <laughs> <laughs> and then fell asleep. Yeah. Was it nice to have a real bed? Yep. Or no big difference? No, no, of course. I mean, I slept well. Yeah, compared to a corner. Yeah, of course. <laughs> At least I don't have a stiff neck. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting is so terrible, but that's what's good about a vlog. It's time for my pre-landing meal. No one else is hungry. So I got the miyoki from the menu. Nearing its end. Enjoy it while it lasts. Yeah, we've just been talking for the past three hours just to make sure she didn't fall asleep. <laughs> Maybe take a deep sniff. Yeah, it's a bit. I get a bit of an allergic reaction, even though I love the smell. The deep tea towels are a bit. Oh, there's my It's very. Oh, I think it's most tea. Yeah, yeah. I love. So I normally love rose, and I do love this smell, but. I think it's too. See, even my skin is itchy. <laughs> I'm sad. She doesn't. She couldn't care less. But I'm very sad. I said The fight is over. <laughs> <laughs> So the ultimate luxury, since the entire mini cabin has been empty this whole flight, we're all able to move to our own window seats just for landing. That's pretty sweet. Truly over. Can you believe it? <laughs> we arrived at gate C8 and have now been walking for like 10 minutes, but I'm not complaining because I know we're gonna be heading for transit security at the new garden area of the terminal, which is really where we wanna be let off anyway, so it's more convenient in that sense. It's just crazy that they're rerouting people in this direction <laughs> instead of going to the much closer central transit security points where we were. Yeah, overall, Oscar and I are discussing the flight, reflecting, the crew was so amazing. I'm gonna be submitting compliments. The one thing we feel um, in general, which this flight, you know, the crew did everything right and they do on pretty much every single Qatar Airways flight but you can tell that they are overworked you can tell that some of the passion and excitement that used to be there has sort of been drained because they are just worked to the you know way too hard by the company which is really a shame because they have the most amazing employees and these guys had they had maybe one more day in Singapore to rest could have delivered even more outstanding service than they already did I'm sure of that and of course be much happier with their jobs first time the Singaporean sees the jewel knockoff yeah. <laughs> feels quite similar you know oh yeah yeah <laughs> like this
Amazing news. We just learned something which I will tell you from inside. It is so nice to have the Al Murjan Garden Lounge nowadays. So you can go somewhere that's a bit quieter. It spreads out the burden that was on the Al Murjan Lounge before. And this is just such a beautiful, tranquil location. As much as I joke about it being a copy of the jewel, I love it so much nonetheless. All right, so we've got our food. I have, of course, a beautiful meza spread. Um, there is a menu, an a la carte menu with a bunch more options, but I think this is the best thing. Okay, so since I am not flying first class on the next flight, like, some other people here. Mm -hmm. I have to get my Arabic coffee fix in the lounge, which amazingly they have. I didn't know they had it at the Al Mujan lounges. So that's a treat you can indulge in as well. Okay, so what did I learn? Well, unfortunately, there were only two seats in first class on the connecting flight. So I gave those to Oscar and April Lynn, meaning I'm an economy. So I came in in long haul business, connecting in short haul economy. And my big question, which I was trying to figure out before was, can I still access the Al Murjan lounge? Which according to my research, isn't always possible. It seems quite inconsistent. But today, even though my connecting leg was in economy, they let me in <laughs> with my two friends, which I'm very grateful for. I'm not sure if it was an exception, but that's a good data point. So now we're heading to our connection. I'm gonna ask April Lynn tomorrow, maybe for some concluding thoughts. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what the hell can this just end? <laughs> Don't worry, it's the last vlog. Thanks for joining us today. I'll see you shortly. Okay, it's the next day, April. <laughs> I just wanna ask, what did you think of the experience? Use Angmo words. <laughs> I speak English, okay? No, use Angmo words, the big words. Oh, it was great. Oh, oh. okay. But would you do it again? Uh, if you bring me on it again, <laughs> next time you find me first class. Oh, okay. you first class. Oh, and if Singapore, you have to... Singapore, right on a Singapore airline first class. Mm, you'll be bossing around another Singaporean. <laughs> no, I don't boss people. <laughs> no. I'll very nice on the flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You felt very bad. You didn't want to bother them for anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were too attentive. Mm, too attentive. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, wouldn't you say you want them to just be like, here's your food or something, not like, madam, may oh, I serve you? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like, oh, here you go, that's it. And then just leave. And just fade away. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you ever pay for this yourself? Um, not when I have you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sugar, I guess I never had Sugar daddy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Miles Champion. What is that? What? Miles Champion. Oh, Miles Champion. Yeah. Thank you so much. So you use your miles on me. Yeah. Then you'll be the champion of the champion. Yeah, that's why we've been friends for seven years and you've still only flown scoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it works. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll see if there's any more videos. Maybe next time we'll try the world's worst economy class. <laughs> oh. And I'll take you on it. Okay. And I'll okay. be in the cabin. Uh, yeah. Yeah, in the cabin back. <laughs> 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 well, we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs>